In today's video, I'll be showing you all how I braid my hair using Brazilian wool. So before attaching the wool to my hair, I moisturize my natural hair and I put my natural hair in these braids, which you all are currently seeing. I put my natural hair in braids first because as the hair ages, my hair would not be sticking out of the wool. That is the reason why I braided my natural hair first, so that the hair would last longer. And this is the wool which I would be using. They are 10 in total. This is the first shade of the brown wool. It's lighter. And then this is the second shade, shade of the brown wool. It's darker than the first. And I'll be needing scissors. And now I go on to unwrap the wool so as to measure the length, my preferred length of hair. This is how I want the length of my braids to be. This is how long I want my braids to be. And after that, I will be cutting the wool. And this part is so funny. Like, I find my method of cutting the wool very funny because I have to um, use my toes to hold the wool in order to cut it. And I just want you guys to focus on this. In case you do not know how to cut um, the wool before now and this is how I do it yeah just wrap it around my fingers and through my toes oh my god <laughs> I felt funny doing this and now the next thing is to use the scissors to cut the wool And yeah, that is it. And yeah, I'm done cutting like the whole wool. As you can see, the shades are different. And yep, I did um, this part of my hair off camera. But then I left like two sections to show you all how I braided the rest of my hair. <laughs> I was feeling myself here. <laughs> This is the part where I braid the hair. So I get 12 strands of the light shade of wool and I get 24 strands of the dark shade of wool. And I just join them together as you can see in the video. Uh, yeah. Just to create like three strands all together basically. Because it's braids we are doing here, right? So it has to be in three places. And not two places here yeah. so I just put I put the lighter shade of brown in the middle that's it in the middle and that is what I'm going to be joining my natural hair to so I'll be I'll be joining the lighter shade of brown to my natural hair as you can see and I go on to braid. So the goal, the goal of um, this braid is that my natural hair has to be behind. Like I'm, I try my best to make sure it doesn't ha appear in front. I'm trying to tuck it in so that when you see the braids, you you're not seeing my hair, you're not seeing my black hair. You're just seeing the brown wool. So the goal is to make sure that your hair stays behind the wool. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing. And as you can see, you're not even seeing my hair right now. You're not seeing my natural hair. Natural hair is behind the braid. Yeah. That's what I do. And as you look at it. My hair is behind, but in front, you're seeing nothing. You're not seeing my hair. And I just keep braiding. And yeah, I'm done with that. So uh, I tied the ends. I tied the end of the braid. But I'll be showing you guys how I tied it with the last section of hair. Isn't this braid beautiful? <laughs> I tucked it in so well. And now the last section. 
so this section really annoyed me because <laughs> i had to give it two tries i i the first two tries i did not get it right see it wasn't taking the right shape as you can see <laughs> and so i had to loosen it and then i did it once more and i finally got it so the goal once more is to make sure that your natural hair stays behind the wool and try my best to make sure that i tuck the hair in because this is not so easy it's not so easy and now i'll be tying the ends of the braid so you guys focus on this so i take the two longest strands the two longest strands in the braid that's what that's this is basically how i tied the other braids so i take the two longest strands in the braids and i just create a knot basically that's it i just take it around and then knot it i knot it and to make sure it's extra extra secure i still tie it i tie it i don't create a knot i tie it this time around i take the same two long strands and just tie it this is the first tie and then i tie it a second time and that's it and then the ends are secure like very secured <laughs> Oh my god, I'm done with my braids. It's just remaining to bond the tips, bond the ends. But wow, so proud of myself. <laughs> Isn't this neat, you guys? Oh, uh, yeah. The next thing is that I'm going to be using my scissors to cut off the excess ends. You'd be needing water and a source of fire. My source of fire is in form of this lighter, but I'll advise that you use a candle because the lighter didn't really do the work that a candle would have done. So yeah, I just burn the ends and burn the ends. And here is when the water comes in. I dip my hand inside the water and I press the ends. I dip my hands in the water so that the hotness of the ends of my hair does not like get to me and then I keep burning till I'm satisfied with how the ends look and I still dip my hand in water and shaping the ends as you can see and yeah I think I'm okay with how the ends look right now that's basically it and this this is how the ends look my mom actually burned the whole ends for me yeah I just wanted to do a quick um, demonstration for you all so yeah this is the end of my hair and as you can see the hair looks good it's neat and my natural hair is hidden uh, I'll be carrying this hair for about four months for <laughs> not four months four weeks four weeks at most and that's it for this video I'll see you in my next one